CBC News has learned that Canada is preparing to open the border to more American milk. It will be included in a new global trade pact being finalized next week in Atlanta. The Trans-Pacific Partnership involves the biggest trading countries outside of Europe. Rosemary Barton has the details and the potential impact. Rosie? Wendy, sources tell us that the big trade deal is about 98% done and that Trade Minister Ed Fast is going to take some time off from campaigning to try and get this agreement finalized before the election. The list of outstanding items, quite short right now, we're told, but topping that list, Canada's protected dairy industry. And now CBC News has learned that Canada is ready to open up a significant portion of its dairy market to the Americans. The Americans are asking for access of about 10%, of 10% of the Canadian market, which would mean Mean that they could sell American milk, cheese, yogurt, even butter inside Canada. This would likely be pretty shattering news for the almost 12,000 dairy farmers inside this country, some of them already using language like uh, this could lead to the annihilation of the industry entirely. The Conservatives, though, are likely going to portray this as a win for consumers because it could lead to lower dairy prices for everybody, for, for all of Canada. And they'll also say that TPP will open up other markets in Asia for beef farmers, for, for uh, grain farmers, for instance. But it is a gamble during an election because some of these dairy farmers are going to have some influence in some key ridings in Quebec and Ontario. And certainly there will need to be some sort of compensation package uh, it, to the tune of billions of dollars for these farmers who will feel like they're being forced out of the market and the industry entirely. Wendy.